Recording Hello, everyone. This is Hattin. In this video, we will learn Chapter Three, uh, Eight Point Three, Simple Interest. Uh, this is gonna be a short video. The first that uh, first part is calculate a simple interest. Interest is the uh, is is the amount of money that we get paid for lending or investing money, or that we pay for borrowing money. The amount of money that deposit or borrow is called principal. Simple interest involves interest calculated only on the principal. Here is the uh, formula of uh, finding the interest. The interest equals principal times rate time, uh, times time. We use I. Uh, represent uh, interest. P is principal, R is rate, T is time. Uh, that means when you, for example, you deposit $1,000 in the bank and after a year, so right now P is a principal you deposit. T, after a year, that means T is one. And so the T here, means year. So uh, then they provide you the rate uh, of getting your interest is 5%. So you just multiply them together, you will get uh, the interest P T R T. That is $1,000 times uh, 5% times T, which is a year. Uh, so some student will ask how to convert the percent to the decimal, because when we are uh, talking about the R rate, we use a decimal. Uh, we need to convert the percentage to the decimal. So we move the decimal uh, point two places to the left. That means if I have 5% and uh, we need to have a point after five here because the five is a whole number or integer. There is a point here. We move this, uh, uh, this decimal point two places to the left. One, two. And then I add a zero here. So the point should be here. Next step, remove the percent sign. So 5% uh, equals 0 0.05. If I have 5.5%, so the first step, I move the decimal point two places to the left, one, two and then add a zero there, and then move, uh, remove the uh, percent sign. That's the 0 0.055. Okay, uh, if in our example, if the T is uh, six months, so the T, is six? No, because the T here means a year. Six months means half year. The T means one half, or you can say it's 0 0.5. Okay, let's move uh, to the next example. This example, you deposit $2,000 in the saving account at a hometown bank, which has a rate of 6%, uh, find the interest at the end of the first year. So the principal P is 2,000. The rate R is 6%. After first year, that means T is one. So I equals P R T, which is, 2,000 times 6% converted to the decimal. 
that means 0 0.06 times one. Uh, what is that? Use your calculator, you will get uh, $120. Next example, a student took out a simple interest loan for uh, $1,800 for two years. That means principal, two years, that means time, at a rate of 8% to purchase a used car. What is the interest on the loan? Just plug it in the formula, PRT, and everything here, you will get $288. Uh, note, simple interest is used for many short-term loans, including uh, automobile and uh, co uh, consumer loans. Let's see next example. Imagine that the short-term loan is taken for 125 days. The time of the loan is 125 over 365. What's the meaning of that? Here is the days. The T in the formula must be the year. So we need to convert the days to the year by, divided, uh, by dividing 365. Okay, let's continue. Because there are 365 days in a year. Uh, however, before the modern use of calculators and computers, the banker's rule uh, allowed, it, uh, allowed the financial institutions to use 360 in the denominator. That means here, the denominator is 365. In the banker's rule, we can use 360 uh, in the denominator of such a fraction because this simplif simplified the interest calculation. Using the banker's rule, the time t for 125 days short-term loan is t equals 125 over 360 equals this. Well, if we still use 365, the time should be uh, 0 0.3425 years. Uh, by the formula of the interest is I equals PRT. If the time T, I equals PRT, if the T is greater, the I is greater. If these two terms uh, don't change, only the T changes, changes. That means if the T is greater, the I is greater. The denominator for 360 benefits the bank by resulting in the greater periods of time for the loan and the con con consequently more interest. So compare uh, with these two T, the first T, the denominator is 360. The T is three, uh, 0 0.3472. When the T, uh, when the denominator is 365, the T is smaller. That means if you borrow the money from the bank, if uh, as the banker's rule, the bank use the time is the first one. And uh, the first one can provide the bank more interest because I equals PRT. So the bank prefer to use the banker's rule, uh, which means um, the denominator is 360. Uh, let's move on to part two, use the future value formula. When a loan is prepaid, the interest is added to the original principal to find the total amount due. Um, that means uh, in, part, in part one, we got I equals PRT. This is the interest. When you deposit the principal to the bank after the T years, you will get the interest. And also that means after the T year, you go, uh, you you go to the bank and you get the principal back and also get uh, the interest. So 
That means the future value you get uh, the money from the bank, uh, including the principal and the interest. So the future value is equal to present value, that's the principal, plus interest. Since we have learned I equals PRT, then the future value A, we use A represent the future value equals principal plus interest. And the plug in the formula of um, PRT of the interest, we, we got P plus PRT. P is the principal. So they are the same term. They are the same. We can pull out the P. We got P times one plus RT. So here, that's the formula we can calculate to the future value. Okay, let's move on to see the example. First example, a loan of $1,060 has been made at 6.5% uh, for three months. Find the loan's future value. So this one is the principal and the rate. And here is the three months, that means time. And we know the unit of T is year. Three months, that means three out of 12 months. That means one fourth equals 0 0.25. And the unit is year. Okay, first step, we got to the year. Uh, we got the T. And this next step, let's use the formula of future value. A equals P times one plus RT. Uh, plug in all the information in the formula. And then we got uh, the future value. And keep two decimals. Uh, if the question asks you to keep two decimals, you keep two decimals. If the question asks you to to round up to four decimals. You just follow the instruction to just keep four decimals. Okay, next example. Suppose you spend $4 each day, five days per week on gourmet coffee. First question, how much do you spend on, the, on this item in a year? Um, so for a week, one week, you spend $4 every day. So four times five, because five days per week, that's $20 a week. And uh, there are uh, 52 weeks in a year. That means in a year, we have uh, 52 months. Oh, sorry, sorry, 52 weeks. So you use 52 times $20 is 1040. Okay, I already listed here. Okay, number B, if you invest your yearly spending on gourmet coffee, uh, that means this amount of money I spend per year in the, on the coffee, in the saving account, uh, I put this as my principal uh, money to, a, uh, to the banking bank saving account. The rate R is 5%. How much would you have after one year? That means uh, it's looking for the future value after a year. The T equals one. Use the formula of future value A equals P times one plus RT uh, is equal to 1,040 times one plus the rate, 5% times a year equals this. Okay, let's move on to next example. You borrowed uh, 2,500 from a friend. This is the principle you borrowed and you promise to pay back $26.55 in six months. So you promise to pay back this amount of money in six months. 
That means this amount of money is your future value. In six months, that's the T equals uh, 0 0.5. That means one half. What simple interest rate will you pay? So if I use the formula of the future value A equals uh, P times one plus RT. So we have future value, we have principal, we have the uh, time T. We don't have R. So we isolate the R and find the R's value. Uh, we have the uh, future value is 2,655 dollar. And this one is 2,501 plus RT, That's one half or 0 0.5 times R. So both side, I need to divide it by uh, 2,500, 2,500. So uh, now I have this part. So I move it to here, 2,655, 2,500. The dollar sign can be canceled equals one plus zero five point times R, times R. And uh, both sides subtract one. So two, six, five, five over two, five, zero, zero minus one equals, if this side minus one, I got zero five times R. Next step, both side, I divided by zero five, uh, point five. So both sides divided by 0.5, or I say both sides times two, it doesn't matter. So I can divide it by 0.5. So you use your calculator, find the result of this uh, left-hand side, and then divide it by 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So all of this divided by 0 0.5, so we can isolate the R. Use your calculator to find the R's value and compare with the result here on the, uh, on the notes. Okay, let's move on to next question. You plan to save $2,000 for a trip to Europe in two years. So this is your future value because you're saving, you want to save um, $2,000 in two years, that's the future. After two, two years, you will get $2,000. So the P is 2,000. This is the print. Oh, sorry. The R, the, the A. The future value A is 2,000. And the, in two years, T is two. You decide to purchase a certificate of deposit from your bank that pays a simple interest rate is 4%. R equals 0 0.04. How much must you put in the CD now in order to have the 2,000 in two years? It's looking for the principal. Use the formula of future value. A equals P times one plus RT. Uh, A is $2,000. P is P, principal. One plus R is 0 0.04 times two. Uh, so let's move on. 2000 equals P times one plus, what's this? Is one plus 0 $0.08, $2,000 zero P times, uh, I don't need the parenthesis. Okay, 1.08. And then both sides are divided by 1.08. 1.08. Use your calculator to find this. Isolate the P is 2000 divided by 1.08. So, after finding the, uh, the result, 
compare with the uh, answer here. Okay, uh, that's all about uh, chapter 8.3. If you have any question, please email me or uh, we can talk uh, in the tutoring discussion session. Uh, okay, have a good one.